Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Tonight we're going to learn how to solve equations with variables on both sides that also have fractional coefficients. So here's our first example. We're going to solve for x. So we have 1 fourth x plus 2 is equal to 3 fourths x. The first thing you want to do is look at your denominators. And my common denominator is just simply 4. So once you identify that, take your equation and you're going to multiply each term by 4 over 1, which is just the whole number 4, and you're going to distribute to each term in your equation. So once we do that, you'll see what's going to happen. I'm going to have 4 over 1 times 1 fourth x and then 4 times 2, which is just 8, and then 4 over 1 times 3 fourths, and I'm writing this as a fraction so you can see it on this first example, and then we're going to simplify each term. So what happens? 4 over 1 times 1 fourth, the fourths cancel, and I'm just left with 1 over 1, or just 1x. I'm going to bring down my plus 8, and then I'm going to simplify this last side. So 4 and 4 cancel, and I'm just left with 3 over 1, or just 3x. So what happens when you multiply through by this common denominator? You clear your fractions out, and it's just a nice simple equation. So now let's collect our like terms. So we're going to subtract 1x from both sides and bring it down, and that leaves me with 8 is equal to 2x, and then we're going to divide both sides by 2 to get our answer, and then it's 4 is equal to x, or x is equal to 4. So that's how you solve the first one. So let's look at a second example. Okay, our denominators are both 3. So that means we're going to multiply the equation through by the value 3. So now let's distribute to each of the three terms. So 3 times 5d, that's going to give me 15d. Minus 3 times 2 thirds. Well, the 3's will cancel out, so I'm just left with minus 2. 3 times 1 third, again the 3's are going to cancel out, and I'm just left with 1d, or just d. So now I just need to solve. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collect my like terms. So I'm going to move my 15d to the other side, so subtract 15d. So I'm left with, and be very careful here, I'm left with a negative 2. Don't drop your negative here. Negative 2 is equal to negative, a positive 1d, and then negative 15 is negative 14d. Now, it's very easy to think, well, I divide by 2, but no, you have to divide by the coefficient to get the d by itself. So let's divide by negative 14. And that's going to leave me with a fraction because the larger number is in the denominator. So negative 2 divided by negative 14, the negatives cancel, so that's going to be a positive, and then that's going to reduce to 1 7th. So that's what our value of d is, because this side, the negatives cancel and the 14s cancel, I'm just left with 1d or d. So the final answer is d is 1 7th. Okay, let's look at a third one. Okay, this one's a little bit different because our denominators are 5, 4, and 10. So we have to figure out what's the lowest number to be the least common denominator. So I like to take the largest number, which is 10, and start uh, writing its multiples. So 4 and 5 don't both don't go into 10. 5 does, but 4 doesn't. So let's Take the next multiple, 20. Well, 20 
five, is divisible by both four and five. So that's my least common denominator. So I'm going to multiply each of these four terms by 20. Don't forget that last one. That constant gets multiplied by 20 also. So now let's distribute it in. So I have 20 times 4 fifths x minus 20 times 3 fourths x equals 20 times 3 tenths x minus 1 times 20, which is just 20. Now, let's simplify these fractions. 5 goes into 20 4 times. So 4 times 4 is 16x. So no more fractions. 4 goes into 25 times. 5 times 3 is 15x equals... 10 goes into 20 twice, so 2 times 3 is 6x. And then we're going to bring down the constant of negative 20. Okay, so we've now cleared all of our fractions. Now let's combine our like terms. 15 minus, or for 16 minus 15 is just 1x or x. So the left side simplifies to simply x is equal to 6x minus 20. Now we need to combine our like terms, so let's move the 6x over by subtracting it. Okay, these cancel, and I'm left with 1 minus 6, which is negative 5, is equal to, bring down the constant, negative 20. Don't forget to bring down the negative. Once you get to here, we need to solve for x, so we need to divide as our last step, so divide by the coefficient, negative 5. So our final answer is x is equal to double negative, 20 divided by 5 is 4. So there's our final answer. And we're done. So I hope this video was helpful on learning how to solve these types of problems.